Today's video, I wanna to touch on a few different things. For future videos, I'm gonna to touch on a lot more in detail. Just for today, I wanna to talk a little bit about inspiration. I wanna give a couple of tips for early on in that first like six to eight months. Some things you can do, some ways to help, a couple styles to help, that'll be two. And then the main por uh, portion of the video, I wanna talk about four ways to style your hair when you get to this point. So the four ways that I style my hair today. And then I'll jump into some comments. Each video I do, I wanna answer questions from the comment section. So that's why it's so important for you guys to comment in addition to liking and subscribing and the notification bell and all that, um, cause that just helps me and it motivates me. So at the very end of this video, I'll do comments and then that'll wrap up. So um, I'm 14 months in. Up to this point, the first year was, the first 12 months was, was definitely the hardest. I'm just now getting to the point where I can actually let it down and it not look like chew daggum baka. My hair, it grows up and out and there's nothing weighing it down. For mine, it's so curly. There's some products you can use, there's some techniques, there's accessories you can use, and those will be future videos. So, inspiration. I would definitely say names like Jason Momoa, for sure. Chris Hemsworth, obviously the, the Thor look. Brock O'Hearn, he's like a model slash actor. And then lastly, a name that you're more than likely not gonna know unless you're familiar with Ronin Factory is Josh Morgan. And he has got just amazing hair. Those are the people that I kind of look to for inspiration. Their textures and the curliness and the length but it doesn't matter what kind of hair you have. If you're gonna make this commitment to grow it out for this long or longer like I am, you're going to need something to keep you motivated. Find an inspiration, find somebody that you can regularly look at their picture, whether it's videos on YouTube. Like that's one thing that helps me a lot is when I'm feeling kind of like it's hot or my hair is just frizzy, I can't do anything with it, especially within that first 12 months. I would go to a YouTube channel or a YouTube video that would be, I could relate to somebody who was dealing with the same thing. But just going through that process is so motivating. So to sum all that up, inspiration, motivation, regularly, whatever you need to stay motivated to not cut your hair. Okay, so let's jump into the tips of what to do when your hair is in that shorter phase within that first six to eight months. Tip number one, train your hair. You're like, what train your hair? What does that mean? When your hair is growing out, you want to train it in the direction that you want it to be when it's longer. For example, with mine, as soon as I knew that I was gonna start growing my hair out, I had it styled in like a fade style. So as it grew, I felt like I was gonna want it to be similar to this part right here. I was gonna want it to pull over this way. I wanted it to be trained back. Uh, a lot of people wanna just grow it straight down, but for me, I wanted to get a head start. Throughout the period of growing my hair out, I just kept pulling it and training it in the way I wanted it to go with products. For me and my journey, training early, the way you want your hair to be at the final result is, to me, it was beneficial. Tip number two. Hair gels, hairspray, pomade, products that are gonna firm your hair up a little bit in the early stages. I got the hardest hold hair gels say that three times really fast. The hardest hold hair gels that I could find on top of hairspray, just to give you some sanity to where you think that you're gonna tame it, it just makes you feel better. So I would run it through my hair in the way I wanted it to go, and I would pull it to the side, and then I would spray it with hairspray, and hope and pray that it would hold that way. So to summarize on those two tips, train your hair and use some sort of product to help you firm it in a certain way to help you style it. All right, so now I'm gonna go through my top four ways that I style my hair in this phase that I'm in right now without using accessories. Number one, dry down. So this is how it is when it's completely dry and when it's down. I'll turn around and you can kind of see side view. Put it 
behind your ears like this. It can be a little bit annoying either way. So you just kind of have to choose which one you like better. Now I will get into products in some other videos. So stay tuned for that. Products that I use do help a lot. And like I said, I will touch on those in a future video. So I know I said I don't like to use harsh things, especially with chemicals like hairspray, but there are certain times where I will still use it to this day. Now, one of those times is gonna be the second tip, damp down. I'm gonna soak it down. All right, so now I've got it damp. It might be slightly more than damp. You can tell that it's a lot more tame. It's laying down a lot more because it's heavier. It's got water in it. So what I like to do, and I actually did this early on too within that first year, um, is use the hairspray with the wet hair technique because it holds the wet look. It's gonna make it look like it's damp, but it's not actually gonna be damp. It's gonna firm up and, and be hard. Now that's the downside to it, is you're not gonna be able to just flip it. It's actually gonna be a little firmer and it's not gonna feel as good to the touch, but you just kinda of have to play that and see what you'd rather have. In that first year, I would do this quite a lot. I would have it wet and then I would use a gel or a hairspray to keep it tamed in that wet look position. So let's go ahead and jump into some actual styling techniques you can use. Tip number three. Tip number three is gonna be half up, half down. Now this is one of those styles that guys really want. They want that samurai look. They want that legless, Lord of the Rings, kind of medieval look. I'm gonna go ahead and throw mine up for you. My bangs are still not long enough to go all the way back to tie in the bun, and my hair on the sides is not quite long enough to be pulled back either. The way I mitigate this is going back to using some sort of product. I don't need a heavy hold, I don't need a heavy hairspray or a heavy gel, I just need enough of something to keep my hair in a, the back position on all sides to where it will dry in that position. Try different styles with your hair every month. Try to find the positives, but after you give it 30 days, find something positive again. Kind of look 30 days out, 30 days out. The next thing you know, it will be 365 days have gone by. Number four is pony with bangs. So what I mean by that is at this stage, your bangs are still short, so you're not able to pull them back, but you can still do a ponytail on the back because the back is longer. Let's pull it back. So you're gonna get a ponytail and then you're gonna be, you're gonna pull some of your bangs forward like this. The ones that are not tied back, you can kind of give it a shake. And so this way, it's just a different kind of style you can work with. Main thing is it gets it out of the way in the back, if it's kind of getting on your nerves, especially when it dries, you can kind of do something stylistic with it by pulling your bangs down. And when this dries, this is gonna get really curly and it's gonna add some texture. And when you couple that with products, it can actually be a pretty cool look. Pull this out. Okay, so let's jump into some comments now. First comment here we have Madamsley. Looking great, Jedi. Keep it growing. Perhaps the beard too. Grow out the goatee some four inch long or so. Would look good with the head hair. What are work friends saying about the new look? Perhaps say in a future video. Good growing. Uh, thanks for the comment. The first part of that, that question, I'll grow it out long. I'll trim it. You know, I'll go clean. I actually shaved it clean a week and a half ago, I believe. And so this is where I'm at after, it's probably not quite a week and a half yet, but I had it completely clean. I'm planning on growing it back out a little bit. I will just go back and forth because I get bored and I gotta change it up. Um, hence the long hair. What are work friends saying about the new look? 
His family's been supportive, great, really supportive, especially now that it's getting longer, it's starting to look better. Work friends have, they don't say a, a whole lot. They make their little comments, say, gosh, I wish you'd cut it, poofy, it's not gonna look good, it's not gonna look how you think it's gonna look. Those are the comments you're gonna get. You're not in this for anybody else. This is a goal that I and you have set for yourself. Don't cut it because other people are saying something about it. Don't be pressured. Thanks for the comment. Next question, how you become thin to thick hair or when your hair is dry, it looks like thick. I, I understand what you're saying there. Uh, this is from Deadly Gaming. So the illusion I'm creating with the thin and thick part is when it looks thinner, it's because it's damp. And I maintain that damp look because I'm using a hairspray or something, or I will take a, take a gel when it's damp and literally just run over the top of the hair. I'm not running it through the hair, I'll just run it over the top and kind of shield it down. That's why it looks thinner, but when it dries, it's gonna look thicker. It's literally growing. One more comment we're gonna hit on here. Uh, Hassan Jamal, do your head get itchy and hot? That's actually funny, that question just came up because I was literally just doing that. I was scratching my head. No, that is the biggest surprise. That's one of the things that I figured was gonna be a big problem. Like most guys, you deal with dandruff, right? I've always dealt with dandruff, but I figured out now through this process of growing my hair, how to keep it healthy and how to keep my scalp healthy and products to do that. Now before I was using crappy products, products that hurt my hair, hurt my scalp, dry my scalp out. Of course, health and nutrition play a big factor in that. Hydration, water is a huge thing with, with skin and scalp and being healthy in general will help. Treating your scalp and your hair with good products will definitely help. And since I've been doing that, I haven't had any issues. I haven't had flaky hair or dandruff. I, I've kept my hair hydrated. Shampoo's a big one. Shampoo kills. For me, it, it definitely kills mine. My hair is dry to begin with. And it's gotten a lot better now. After, after time goes by and you're treating your hair the way it should be, it does get better. Starting early, good products, uh, things that are good for your hair that are good oils and um, that you're allowing your, your scalp and your hair to produce the natural oils it needs to without drying them out with shampoos and harsh products and alcohols. I mean, just look at the labels on some of these products. It goes, it's just like food. You feed yourself with crap and you're gonna feel like crap. If you get crappy products that have terrible, you know, parabens and alcohols and all these things in it, you're gonna dry your hair out. Um, and damage your hair, then you're gonna split in. Don't dry your scalp out with so much shampoo. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, sincerely. I really enjoy doing this. I'm going to do more content. So please follow along, comment, uh, ideas for videos, things that you wanna see. Hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I post a new video. Like, subscribe, good luck with your hair journey, and I can't wait to see you guys next time.